attendees are in listen-only mode. Hi, everyone. Thank you for joining our May corporate panel webinar. My name is Victoria Muti. I'm the National Events Manager here at Allison James Estates and Homes. We have Jill Lemons, our National Operations Manager, with us today, and Jeff Jabora, our National Director of Growth and Development. We decided to do this corporate panel webinar today to afford you the opportunity to ask the corporate team any questions which you have been meaning to ask or to listen to see if other AJI agents have the same questions as you do. This is a round table style webinar. We are here to answer your questions, so please feel free to type in any questions you would like answered into the questions box on your GoToMeeting panel. Okay, and we have our first one here. I need a copy of the AJI W9. Where can I find it? Um, that can be located in Wolf Connect. Um, inside of the file manager, you will see a, um, a corporate uh, folder and you will be able to find that in there. Who now signs commission instructions from escrow? I sent them to agents at ajicorporate.com. Um, commission instructions from escrow are now signed by your broker. Um, if they are going to Ken Moon, his email address is Kenneth Moon Digital Signature at allisonjames.info. Here's another question. I was asked by a potential buyer if I could match Redfin's rebate. Is that something we can do? Jill? Okay, the issues pertaining to any rebates that are provided would best be directed to your broker uh, as any kind of rebates would be applicable to the state you are within and any of the laws applying to those rebates. Uh, relative to any buyer credits, seller credits, that is up to the agent as far as what they would like to provide. But if it is something outside those buyer seller credits, um, a rebate, you can go ahead and direct that question to your broker so they can apply it to your specific state and state laws. Okay, um, I have not been able to log into Breakthrough Broker from the link on the Wolf Connect office page. I sent a service request. They never answered. Um, my BIC was out sick. I was left unable to get in and still cannot. What can be done about better support? Um, Broker Wolf, or I'm sorry, Broker Wolf, <laughs> Breakthrough Broker is, um, we are not actually affiliated with BreakthroughBroker.com. That is a completely separate site. Um, the best thing to do if you're having trouble logging in to Breakthrough Broker would be to contact their support. Um, also, I can reach out if you would like on, on behalf and see if there's something that we can do. Where is the link to Wolf Connect? Um, that's a great question. The link to Wolf Connect can actually be found on the Allison James website. You'll see at the very top right-hand corner of the Allison James website, which is allisonjamesinc.com. Um, there is a green button which says log in. That is how you'll be able to log in to Wolf Connect. You can also log in through the Agent Center, which is also on the Allison James page. <clears throat> How would you like us to handle a builder providing half commission up front and half when closed final occupancy? Jill, would you like to answer that? I'd be more than happy to. When you have a situation where you're receiving a partial commission up front, what we would do, you just contact, we would issue the initial CDA as a full payment. And then we can make note and show the breakdown and show the receipt in two separate components. So what you would do is show the full commission, make note under the comment section that it would be paid half up front and half at closing or final occupancy. Perfect. Here's another question. 
can we please have a link for name tags on the Wolf Connect office page? Yes, that's a great question. We can definitely add a link on the under the office links on the Wolf Connect homepage um, where you will be able to order any name tags that you need. Here's another question. I missed the CFPB training in Carlsbad. Do you have a recording? Um, we do not have a recording of that meeting, um, which was to go over the upcoming CFPB changes. Um, that will actually, we do have a webinar scheduled for July um, where Shelly Hoiseth with Movement Mortgage will be going over all of the updates and all of the information you need to know um, for the CFPB changes that are going into effect August 1st. Okay, and um, we do have, this isn't a question, but if you are unable to see anything, don't worry. There is nothing really to be seen on the screen right now. Um, so we are just verbally answering questions. Okay, I have one here. I am still waiting to get my email signature picture. I got a copy to review, but then nothing has happened further. Um, what or who can I contact about this? Um, that is something that I will definitely follow up on today for you. Um, that is our marketing department who handles creating the email signatures. Um, so I will make a note right now to check on that. Here's another question. Where can I find just listed postcards to send out? Those will be available in the Breakthrough Broker website. Um, I know that you are actually having difficulty logging into Breakthrough Broker. Um, so let me see what I can do as soon as we get off the webinar. I'll, I will reach out to someone over there. Um, but all of the flyer templates, um, they have listing presentations, buyer presentations, brochures. They have everything that you need, all the different kinds of templates available on Breakthrough Broker. Um, that website is just BreakthroughBroker.com. Okay, here's another question. I am in Maryland and couldn't find a listing that another agent has listed. That another agent has listed. Jill, would you like to? What I would suggest if you're looking either in the MLS, um, there's a couple components you can do. You can, if you can't find it in the MLS, of course, contact the agent directly. Um, or if you need to, you can contact any of your corporate staff and we could go ahead and look it up within our SkySlope system um, to help provide you any of the information that you may have. But the best bet would be to actually reach out directly to that agent. And of course, you can always find any of your agent contact information for other agents in your area or across the nation in your Wolf Connect under the uh, agent directory. Okay, is there an issue with SkySlope closing dates? Corporate office sends me notifications several weeks before closing date entered into SkySlope. Jill, would you like to? Okay, the issue with SkySlope, if you have initially, uh, for example, a May 1st closing date where closing has been moved to May 25th, it is initially pulled into the corporate accounting system as that May 1st date. If you update it and notify any of the corporate staff of that change needing to be made, we will update it. A lot of the messages that you'll be receiving um, are reminders. You may get something up to a week or two just as a reminder to make sure you upload your HUD for an upcoming closing. Those are sent out weekly. Again, those are just reminders. It's not that anything is, is being done specifically wrong, but that you have a closing date coming up and documents that will be uploaded or need to be uploaded. Okay, here's one. What is the reason for not allowing the agent to modify the closing date? Uh, okay, in SkySlope, when you initially enter your figures relative to the commissions, um, up until the time that a disbursement authorization is issued, you do have the ability to up those, 
update any of that information. Should you have a situation that the CDA gets issued and then a date needs to be modified after that, because of the integration between our accounting system and our file management system, it's important that we lock down those figures and have more uh, ability or control over not allowing those to change because of it affecting 1099s, final disbursement forms, et cetera. Okay, so if a listing is in the MLS, why wouldn't it show when a customer is searching on the AJH website? That just depends on whether we have an IDX feed in your area. Um, if we do have an IDX feed, all of your listings will then feed through onto the Allison James website. If we do not have an IDX feed in your area, inside of the Wolf Connect system, you will be able to manually input a listing and it will then feed through onto um, the website. So we can check for you actually, I'll make a note right now to see if we do have that IDX feed in your area. Here's another one. In Skyslope, is there an account page that will give a complete accounting for the year of all charges, if and where is it located? That is a great question. Uh, we do have a feature inside of the Wolf Connect system that is not something that you can pull out of Skyslope. But if you log into Wolf Connect and on the home page, you'll see the first tab says real estate. If you look over on the right hand side, you'll see transactions. And in there, uh, you'll see a pie chart. And that's where you can pull all of those kinds of reports. Um, you'll be able to pull your transaction reports to see all of the deals which you have closed throughout the year. Um, another report for any charges uh, which you have paid as well. Here's another one. Are there upgrades coming to DigiSign that compare to DocuSign, e.g. timestamp option? Jill? The Skyslope is continuously making up updates and upgrades to all the components within their system. What we will do is we will forward a request for an enhancement um, for the timestamp option or any other options that you may have. If you want to shoot me an email of things that are contained within DocuSign that you would like to see in DigiSign, I'd be more than happy to send that over to the development team. But they have been making strides and, and many improvements on all components of the system. So I'll be more than happy to forward that on and tell them that that is something that we would look, that we would look, want to see. Okay, here's another question. The closing date will be extended on or before June 20th, 2015. How do I change it in Skyslope? Now, Skyslope will only let you update the closing date if the CDA has not been issued. Once your file has been approved by your broker and our processing department has issued the CDA, the file goes into kind of a closed status. Um, you will need to contact processing at ajicorporate.com um, with any uh, updated closing dates and we will be able to go in and make that change for you. Here is another question. Title company issued a check in my name rather than Allison James. Should I endorse the check and mail it to corporate or ask title company to reissue? Jill? If the CDA has been issued and we have issued the authorization for it to be issued into your name, it can be made payable to you. Title company should never, without that disbursement authorization, issue payment directly to an agent. So if the check was payable to you and a disbursement authorization was issued showing that you were due payment in that amount, then you're absolutely fine to keep it. If it is a matter that the title company inadvertently issued a check for the full commission where there needs to be a split payable to you, I would advise for the title company to reissue that payment to Allison James or to issue it based on the disbursement authorization. 
Okay, are there plans to change contract management vendors in the near future? Jill? I think that question is more related to our elite division. And what I will do is I will go ahead and chain, um, send that up the chain uh, in that division to get a response back to you. We'll make it, we'll make note and have a direct response relative to that question. Okay, here's another one. I have two new agents who want to join Allison James. Do I get paid when they join? Jeff? Can you answer that one? Yes, absolutely. We absolutely have a referral incentive, which is actually paid in arrears. So a lot of people, um, when they refer an agent, you don't get the payment the next day. It'll come out on the next month's disbursement. Uh, with that being said, to give you a breakdown on how that works, it's a very simple program to refer someone to work with our brokerage. Just simply email me their contact information or provide them with my contact information if you're more comfortable with that. Um, if they come aboard, you will receive 10% of whatever their monthly plan fee is. If an agent joins under plan C, that does include 10% of the transaction fee as well. And like I said, that's paid one month in arrears. So if they come aboard this month, you'd be paid for it next month. Also, if you have four or more agents that you have referred, that number increases to 15% across the board which is huge, and that is not a one-time payment. That is like a small residual. It's a, an annuity, if you will. Um, you'll be paid on that for as long as your license and their license is with the brokerage. Perfect. That answered the other question that came in. How much do I get paid for bringing them on? Thank you, Jeff. Um, here is another question. What is the procedure for rental units for AJ's portion? Do I send a check after I collect first month's rent and security deposit, Jill? <clears throat> Thank you, Vicki. Um, first of all, I would need to address the fact of the collection of the security deposit. Any Allison James agent cannot be functioning in the capacity of a property manager. You cannot collect rents. You cannot collect security deposits. You can place a tenant in a rental under a lease for that initial referral fee, but you cannot do any kind of property management activity. So the collection of rent and security deposits would not be a permissible activity. Now, relative to a portion of a transaction fee of a lease referral, what you would need to do, again, we would go ahead and have you update the information, upload your information into SkySlope, have a disbursement authorization issued, if the landlord making the referral payment is willing to do a split and send AJI's fees to us and your check to you, that is fine. They can send it all to us and we would in turn cut out an ACH payment to you for your portion. But they would they also would need a disbursement authorization. They could not issue payments to you directly without our authorization. Okay. Okay, here's another one. How do I know if I pay 10% for my transaction fee instead of the full amount? Okay, transaction fees as of May 1st for a Plan C agent are $360 plus your $65 for your E&O payment. If your commission, the portion you're receiving is $2,000 or less in your transaction fee, will be reduced to 10% of your commission amount. So for example, if your commission is $2,000, you would be paying a transaction fee of $200 as opposed to the 360. Anything with a commission amount of $2,000 and one cent or above would be a flat $360. Okay, here's another one. I want to have my own signs made. Do I need to have them approved? Yes, um, your broker will need to approve any signs which you are having made unless they are coming off of the Jack Pratt website, um, which is listed on the Wolf Connect homepage. 
Um, so please send any signed templates which you are thinking of having created over directly to your broker. Okay, I have a lease listing where the owner had the tenants move in before all of their paperwork was collected for me. I put the closing date that they moved in in Skyslope, and now it shows expired in Skyslope. I don't want to mod modify it to say they moved in on a different date when they didn't. And you wouldn't have to. You can go ahead and leave it as a date. The expired date is basically a notification to you that there's activity that needs to be done. There may be circumstances that something is going to expire, but you're continuing to put paperwork in. So I would not I would leave it as of the date that they moved in because that is effectively the date of closing of the lease. Okay, here's another one. I'm a new agent and I need to have the link to order Alice and James business cards. Um, you will be able to find the link to order any Alice and James business cards also on the Wolf Connect homepage that is listed under office links. Where can I find Robert Milligan's MLS office ID? Okay, and I'm presuming that is for one specific MLS, and what we would have to do is reach out to Mr. Milligan directly for the specific board that you're referring to or MLS you're referring to, and his staff could provide you that MLS office ID for that MLS location. He is in multiple within the state of Florida, so we would just have to direct that to him and ask him what applies for that specific MLS that you're speaking of. Okay. Here's one. I need the deck page of the E&O insurance policy. Can you send it to me? Um, as I mentioned before, the E&O insurance policy is located in the Wolf Connect file manager um, under the insurance policies folder. The deck page is just the first page of the E&O insurance policy if you are looking for that. Here is another one. I just moved. Who should I update my address with? If you have any changes relative to your address, your email addresses, phone numbers, or any other further information, you can contact any member of the corporate staff and would be more than happy to process that for you. Um, you have Jennifer in agent relations. You have Laura in processing or Victoria or myself will be more than happy to get in and update your profile. You can either do it via email or you can do it uh, through any of our extensions on the main corporate number. Okay, perfect. Are referral fees under $2,000 subject to the E&O payment of $65 in addition to the 10% transaction fee? Is the E&O waived on certain deals? If so, which deals? Very good question. No, the E&O insurance is not waived just because the commission is under $2,000. You still be subject to the payment of the E&O for $65 under Plan C with a 10% transaction fee. E&O does not apply if you have a referral that is from out of company. So if, it, if it's from another, um, you're receiving a referral from another brokerage, you do not pay an E&O on that. Uh, or you do not pay it on a lease situation. So on any of the rental properties, you would not pay E&O. Okay. I am not receiving notifications of AJE webinars. My fellow agent forwarded me today's webinar. Can someone please make sure that I am registered where necessary to receive emails and notifications for the weekly webinars, et cetera? Of course, we will definitely check into that as soon as the webinar is over. Also, there is a new event calendar. Um, you will be able to access that, again, off of the Wolf Connect homepage. That is a great one-stop area for you to find out any upcoming webinars or live events which are happening. Um, we also have not just Alice and James webinars, but um, Inman News, uh, we have RPR, um, there's Skyslope training, pretty much everything is all on that one page. 
So um, if you are interested in finding out anything that's upcoming, um, you can definitely click on the event calendar. Is there a Wolf Connect training video? This is a great question. Um, Wolf Connect is a great system. I think that um, most people don't use it because they're not really sure of all of the features and how to use them. We did just recently have a webinar. It was um, last month with Stephanie Shaw from the Lone Wolf support team. She walked us through all of the features available in Wolf Connect. Um, so I definitely encourage everyone to watch that webinar. I did send a recording out to everyone after it was over, and it is also listed on our blog page. So um, that's the best place to go. I also do a weekly training. It's for new and old agents. It's called my onboarding and review session. That's every Tuesday at um, 2.30 Eastern Standard Time, which is 11.30 Pacific Standard Time. I go over the Sky Slope system and also Wolf Connect. Um, so if you would like to register for any of those trainings, you will also be able to find the links on the event calendar. If you sent a referral to an out-of-state agent because you're not licensed and you get a 30% referral, does the e and O insurance apply? Jill? Okay, I'm gonna address that in two parts. If the referral is to an out-of-state agent that is a non-AJI agent, e and O does not apply. If you refer to another AJI agent, say you're in Florida and you're referring to California, but it is under the umbrella of Allison James, then yes, the fee does apply because it is still under the same umbrella of Allison James. Okay, you already answered this question, but I didn't hear you fully. Where did you say the reports are in Skyslope? The reports are actually not in the Skyslope system. They are located inside of Wolf Connect. Um, if you are on the home page of Wolf Connect, you will see the transaction um, tab at the very, you'll see the real estate tab at the very top. Under that real estate tab on the right hand side is your, uh, will be your transactions. Now on that page, you will see the pie chart at the top right hand corner. All you need to do is click on that pie chart and a drop down menu will appear. That is where you can select which report you would like to run. Um, so there are quite a few different ones to choose from. We definitely encourage everyone to run the transaction report um, as frequently as you would like to, to verify that we have the correct information in our system as you have. Okay, I received an email to complete the commission tab. Is there a training video? We actually go, I actually go over this during my onboarding and review session every Tuesday. Um, this is something that's extremely important to make sure that your commission tab in Skyslope has been completed. Uh, so processing knows what to put on your CDA. Um, so if you have any questions about how to complete that commission tab, please feel free to join any of my training sessions as I do go over all of that information with you. We have a, um, I'm sorry, I'm just reading this question. It is. Um, okay, can you please tell me more about, I believe it's pronounced zone.com. I have registered and uploaded my YouTube video that was requested. However, I want to know, has the broker Robert Milligan 
returned this MLA they requested, or is this specific for each agent? And besides the registration we received, is there anything else we as agents should know or do? That is definitely going to be a question for your broker, Robert Milligan. Um, I would definitely approach him with that question because I, I'm not 100% sure. We will reach out to him and, um, and find out more information for you. So we'll make a note right now. Okay, here's another question. Victoria, you said that all recorded training sessions are on the blog. Please add a link to this archive to the Wolf Connect links. Okay, no problem. We can definitely add the link. Um, that's a great suggestion on to the Wolf Connect office links. Um, you can also access them through our education center. We have a ton of educational videos in there for you, um, as well as our recorded webinars. Um, that is ajirealestate.com. And again, we will reach out to Robert in regards to, um, to that website, Zoom, I believe it is. Okay. Um, so now on the screen, you will see all of our contact information. Um, if there is anything that we did not answer during the webinar, we will be able to respond as soon as it is over. Uh, you can contact Jeff Jabora, our Director of National Growth and Development, by emailing jjabora at ajicorporate.com or by dialing the corporate office number, which is 866 Four six three five seven eight zero and extension six. You can contact Jill Lemons, our national operations manager, by emailing jlemons at ajicorporate.com or extension seven. And you can contact me directly by emailing events at ajicorporate.com and you can reach me at extension five. So thank you everyone so much for joining us today and we hope you have a great afternoon.